DJ TV. Yoruba agitators to call for referendum at the ongoing United Nations General Assembly. Plus, government says election will not hold in any southeastern state of Nigeria. Ahead of the 24th of September 2021, where President Muhammadu Buhari will be speaking at the 76th United Nations General Assembly in New York. And despite the efforts of the government of Nigeria to weaken the ranks of the agitators in the United States of America, the Yoruba nation agitators have said that they will be present on the 24th of September 2021, where President Muhammadu Buhari will be speaking. And they have revealed that they have six demands to place on the president, else they will go ahead with their plans. The Yoruba nation agitators have said that they will unveil the greatest protest that has ever held on the 24th of September 2021, where President Buhari will be addressing the United Nations General Assembly. Maxwell Adeleye, who is the representative of the Yoruba nation's agitators, have said that one of the demands from the president of Nigeria is that the 1999 constitution should be nullified. Other demands of the Yoruba nation agitators include end to the Fulani genocide and end to the oligarchy and affirmation of the Meyeti Allah as a fear-based oppressor association. Maswe Adeleye also said that the interest of the Yoruba nation agitators is so that the individuals of the southern part of the country and the middle bed can have their own legitimate and lawful nations. Another demand of the Yoruba nation agitators in the United States of America is that an end should be put to the dissemination being executed by the Meiti Allah against the Yoruba people, especially when it comes to the farmer elders clash which has turned into a huge insecurity problem in Nigeria. They have also said that on the 24th of September 2021, they will carry out the protest opposite the United Nations headquarters to confront President Muhammadu Buhari during his speech. Another demand that they are making is that the United Nations should proscribe the Miyeti Allah as a terrorist association. Maxwell added that the Miyeti Allah individuals are the enemies of the individuals of the South and the Middle Belt part of Nigeria, and the United Nations should proscribe them as legitimate terrorists. In another breaking development, Ahead of the November 16th gubernatorial election bill to hold in Anambra State, gunmen have invaded a political gathering in Enugu West and have threatened that election will not hold in any part of Biafra land. In the video which erupted on social media, the gunmen were seen shooting repeatedly as those who came for the political gathering fled for their lives. Those who could not escape were captured by the gunmen and they were asked to lie down in the mud. They were molested, harassed and beaten with the allegation being leveled against them as trying to bring back Fulanese into a Nugu state. Motorbikes and vehicles belonging to those who attended the political campaign meeting were destroyed by the gunmen and also they threatened to deal with anyone who will further organize any political gathering anywhere else in Biafra land. In their statement, the gunmen were heard saying, you want to bring back Fulani into our place. We chase them away and you want to bring them back. What are you doing here? You are here for party politics like you do every four years. Which party? The gunmen were further heard saying, don't you like how we chased away the Fulanese? Why do you want to bring them back? You want to bring problem into Enugu West again. We have asked you people to stop these party campaigns you are doing on our land. You are all here for party campaigns. You are the ones destroying Enugu West. 
thunder will fire you. Say yes, sir. The gunmen, the gunmen were heard saying to those who they captured during the political campaign meeting. And due to the harassment and molestation, when the gunmen asked those who organized the political gathering if they would ever organize another meeting, the men were heard saying no. And when they were asked what they should do to them, should they organize another political gathering anywhere and in Biafra land, the men were heard saying they could kill them. We have stopped the campaign of Biafra land, the gunmen said. We don't want anybody coming out for anything campaign. There will be no election in this country anymore. It will be recalled that in August 2021, the self-acclaimed disciple of Nam Dikano, Simon Ekwa, had said that the upcoming gubernatorial election built to hold on the 6th of November 2021 in Anambra State will not take place as they will no longer allow any election to hold in Biafra land. Simon Ekwa's statement must have foiled this government who have said that election or political party campaigns are not allowed to be held anywhere around Biafra land as those who are caught holding political meetings will have to pay dearly for it. So there you have it guys. Uh, the Yoruba Nation agitators are getting ready for what they've called the greatest protest that has ever held. They have said they'll be protesting directly opposite the United Nations building. This is to force the UN to proscribe the Beyeti Allah as a terrorist group as well as uh, you know, granting referendum to all those who are seeking for self-determination and separation from Nigeria such as the Oduduwa Nation, the Biafras and even the middle bit of Nigeria. The protesters have said that uh, the federal government should get ready to nullify the 1999 constitution as well as several demands which they have said if it's not met they will continue the greatest protest of all time in front of the united nations building now let's recall that ahead of the president's you know um attendance to the 76th united nations general assembly uh, a lot of his entourage, led by his chief of staff, have gone ahead of him to disperse these, you know, agitators, so as not to mar the visit of President Muhammad Buhari to the United States of America. But obviously, they seem to have failed because the Yoruba Nation agitators in the U.S. have said that they will still hold their protest no matter what will happen. Also. Uh, gunmen have said that no election will hold in Biafra land. Now, this leaves a lot to worry about because, first of all, the Citadel order is already biting hard on the economy of the southeastern state. As a lot of activities have been grinded to an halt due to the IPOP Citadel order, which has been passed. So, guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning these issues we have just raised? Do you think the Yoruba Nation agitators will be able to go ahead with their planned protest or the chief of staff of Nigerian president will be able to break the ranks as they have said he has gone ahead to do? And also, the threat by the government that election will not hold in any southeastern part of Nigeria. Do you think it's something that is fixable or not? Drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video. But before we go, we just want to let you know that we're also on Facebook and on Instagram at DJMTV. Also check out our website at www.djmtv.news. There we drop news 247 non-stop. Do not forget that you could also place your advert with us here on DJMTV News and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. Well, so we'll come your way again with another edition of Digital TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Lauru Fabo. Some of the delegates are asked the question.
DJ AP DJ AP